Humans have been eating up the sweet fruits of bees' hard labour for centuries. Some types of honey give medicinal benefits and even hallucinogenic effects. Now it's being marketed as an aphrodisiac too. But this isn't just any honey, this is royal honey. So what is royal honey? Royal honey is a combination of regular honey mixed with royal jelly. But many retailers will try and add additional ingredients to enhance their product's intended health benefits. Some retailers market their product as raw or unpasteurized, claiming this adds to the nutritional value. However, the antimicrobial properties of honey don't protect it from bacteria. The product is generally marketed as a health food, skin treatment, and most famously, an aphrodisiac. In 2022, Big Royal Honey landed itself in some hot water when the US Food and Drug Administration found some products were being laced with erectile dysfunction medication that was not disclosed in the ingredient list. This raised concerns as these drugs, namely Viagra and Callius, can react with other medications and lower blood pressure to dangerously low levels. In addition to its aphrodisiac properties, it's claimed that royal honey possesses a number of seemingly impressive health benefits, such as antifungal, antibacterial, antimicrobial, and antioxidant properties, and even anti-aging and moisturizing benefits for the skin. You might be wondering though, that because honey isn't advertised as having all these properties, then are the benefits just coming from the royal jelly? And what is royal jelly? Normal honey is produced in the honey stack, or honey stomach, of bees, and its flavour is determined by which flowers the nectar used to make it is gathered from. Once home, the bee will regurgitate the nectar in a process called trophallaxis. This honey is then stored in a honeycomb within the hive, and the honeycomb is used to feed the colony throughout winter. Royal jelly, however, is a thick, white substance secreted from the glands in the heads of worker bees. It's a nutritious food used to feed queen bee larvae throughout their larval period and to feed worker and drone larvae for the first three days of their lives. While royal jelly does contain a number of beneficial ingredients, the amount of royal jelly a human would need to eat to see any beneficial effect means that it has very limited human nutritional value and a normal consumption. Additionally, the claims of royal honey having rejuvenating properties when used in skincare are unsubstantiated. The aphrodisiac effect of royal honey are a little more complicated than its marketing would suggest, especially considering aphrodisiacs are mostly just a placebo effect. Royal jelly is, however, vital to the fertility of honeybees. A 2022 study found that royal jelly may enhance fertility in mammals like rodents and farm animals, with the application of it improved pregnancy rates and success rates of in vitro fertilization. In human studies, royal jelly was seen to have a beneficial effect on sperm count and mobility, suggesting an increased chance of fertilization. However, there was no evidence to suggest any fertility benefits in women. But increased fertility does not equal increased libido, as the aphrodisiac touting companies would have you think. So the next time someone tries to fog you some royal honey, first consider if the minor potential health benefiting additions really outweigh the eye-watering price and the potential of being spiked with Viagra.